everybody, Patrice T. Evans, I'm actress, dancer, dance fitness instructor. I am the founder of Soccer Dance Fitness. I'm a mom, a teacher, and a master in, uh, performer and event starter. So go on to SoccerDanceFit.com to learn more about Soccer Dance Fitness. But it turns out that it looks like I'm becoming a part of the uh, hair care community. So thank you, first of all, for all my new subscribers and for supporting what I'm doing here, sharing with you everything that I can because I'm so excited that I'm reaching maximum hydration. So thank you for being a part of this journey with me. And I'm doing all I can to answer all of your questions and I decided I'm going to share my routine because I'm doing it today. So I'm going to do my best. As a performer and a dancer and actress, I don't feel like I need a lot of editing because I'm so used to speaking that I don't feel like I need a whole lot of editing. So I hope you understand that. And with dance fitness, basically you don't edit a lot because you need the music to sink in with the movement and I take pride and giving you authentic material that doesn't have to be cut up and edited all the time. So it shows you the authentic me and what I'm really doing. For this purpose, however, there's a time lapse. So I may have to do a little bit more editing, so I'm gonna need your prayers that I'm able to do this well. So I'm gonna get the help from my teenage son, and I'll do the best I can. So let's get right into it. This is my routine, my full routine. So I will do probably lots of clips of it and kind of put them together. We'll see if that works. All right, so I, the last time I did a video, I did my oils. So this is very moist right now, and I, I feel water in it. And I didn't add any new water. It was just, remember before, I let my hair dry some, it was kind of moist, and it did the, the greenhouse effect all night till the next day. Around the same time the next day, it's about 24 hours that I've had the oils in. So this, is just that oil still in my hair the next day. This is how it looks, it's very soft. I can smell the henna, I can smell it in there. My hair is probably lighter than it seems, but I always keep it wet, so you can't tell. Anyway, so here I am taking it out, just looking at it. I never really do twist outs or anything. So here we go, I'm taking it out. I'm in my bathroom and I have a skyline here where light comes in this way, there's light coming in this way. So we're gonna do the best we can with this. All right, we're taking it out. So the first thing that I do when I pre-poo, so normally I wouldn't have done this 24 hours, I would just do it for a little while in my scalp, and then I would start washing. I do not use shampoos, nor do I use tools, except to part my hair maybe, or maybe a brush to flatten the sides or whatever. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it out, I'm taking these out. So my hair is all out. All right, okay, so I don't have my earrings on because, and I'm prepared to maybe take a shower. I don't know what I'm gonna be doing, but it's very messy, my routine. So I'm trying to make myself more comfortable. And so, lots of oil. Now let me rinse this out, okay? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my bowl and I'm gonna take baking soda. This is my shampoo. So this baking soda, maybe it's been, there's probably been a lot of um, moisture in it, it looks like. But that's okay, because guess what? There's gonna be more moisture. So I'm about to put some water with it. Um, so I'm not afraid of that. You know me, I like water. I'm gonna put a lot in here. So this, this is actually gotten hard. I'm gonna go ahead and put some warm water with it. Maybe that'll dissolve those, those chunks. Because I have another one in there, but I'm not gonna waste it. I'm gonna use it. I'm not afraid of it being chunky. You know, this is natural stuff we're doing here, so we're not afraid of a little bit of mess here and there, you know? So, ideally, you want to have your water warm, okay? Because I'm low porosity, so that's the whole point, is to have it warm. So let me uh, try to make this a little warmer. And I'll turn the camera over here if I'm going to need to rinse it out, okay? It's gotten a little warmer, so let me pour a little bit out. Now it's warm. I don't know how much I can do here, right here in front of you, but I'll try to get this in my hair in this sink, okay? So here we go. I'm gonna pour it in my hair. What, wait, actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to my tub and I'm gonna try to rinse some of this oil off, just rinse it off, and then I'll put the baking soda in, okay? So let me rinse it off real quick. And here's the 
is my hair all wet. Now I'm gonna stir this uh, baking soda. Pour that over my hair. It has a nice sizzle. Nice sizzle. There's still some more in here, so I'm gonna get the rest of it and put it in my hair. And now, I don't know if you can see this, but there's stuff, look at that, this green stuff coming out. It's all, all of a sudden, everything's coming out of my hair. All of the product. And I'm gonna show you. Do you see that coloring? All the product is beginning to come out of my hair, stripping my hair of all the product. I don't know if you can see. Let me get close, I'm gonna squeeze them out. The baking soda and water is getting all the product out of my hair. I'm squeezing some out. I can see green. That's probably the oil, see that? That's cleaning it out. I'm gonna let it sit for a minute. Just let it sit. You can let this sit for as long as you need to, to really get it out. I'm gonna just go by, play it by ear like I normally do. Get it all out. You don't wanna massage your hair too much and get, make yourself have um, single strand knots, so don't be rubbing it too much. You know, but if you wanna pull it like this, that's fine. That's okay. Can you see? So right now, I'm cleansing and clarifying my hair, the beginning stages of it. This is baking soda and water, taking all the product out of my hair. That's what's happening, okay? I feel like this is enough, because there's another step to this, so I'm gonna go rinse this off. I don't know if you can see me in the tub over there, but here we go. t-shirt. You're drying your hair with a t-shirt, not with a towel. My foundation's coming off. Well, there's no need to dry my hair because I'm about to rinse it again with apple cider vinegar. So, I can take the same bowl because you can put apple cider vinegar with baking soda and it'll be fine. Apple cider vinegar. Maybe a half a cup of that. Add some warm water. So I've added warm water with my apple cider vinegar and I'm gonna pour this over my head to rinse it. To continue that stripping, I wanna get everything off. I'm gonna get it all off my hair. Whatever product I've had in my hair since the last time I did my routine, I wanna get it out of my hair. So I'm gonna let that sit for a little bit. Get into my scalp a little. This is what it looks like. It smells like vinegar. Apple cider vinegar. Okay, let me let it sit for a sec. I'm gonna probably have to get a chair because of my back. Let it sit for a sec. And then I'm gonna rinse this out, okay? So, it's just vinegar. All right, I'm gonna rinse it out. Get my t-shirt over here, my 
t-shirt is going to help me dry some of that extra water out. There, I rinsed out everything. So, this is the beginning stages of my clarifying and cleansing. Now, my Rosso Clay. So, this is what I like to do with my Rosso Clay. Take your ring off. Notice I have a tan there because there was a ring here. Get that ring off first thing because it is not good. It messes up metal. This is my Rosso Clay. These are the ingredients we're going to be using. The Rosso Clay, aloe vera powder, rose powder, and of course, why not put a little bit of this up in there? So let's go for it. Here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and begin to put my Rosso Clay in, eyeballing it, of course. However, you can do two big tablespoons of Rosso Clay. I don't have a lot of hair. This is probably a lot, okay? Because it's gonna foam. The other ingredient that I didn't tell you that we're gonna use is apple cider vinegar and water. Um, I'm gonna leave that in there because it's not gonna hurt to have more stuff. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna get one, I'm gonna use a spoon, one tablespoon of aloe vera powder. Some people say they're allergic to it, so don't put a lot. What is that? Okay, aloe vera powder. I think this was wet because I used it. Okay, so there we go. One tablespoon of aloe vera powder. And I would say a teaspoon of this rose powder. That's not a whole lot, right? It's about a teaspoon. Um, if you want to put more, you can. Remember, you can do what you want. These are natural um, products. Just a little, a few drops of my growth oil, just for fun. And this is where the fun starts. I'm pouring the apple cider vinegar into my Rosso clay. Half a cup, I think, would be good. I'm gonna take my um, baking uh, stir and begin to stir it. It's turning into a clay. I like my apple cider vinegar to be my main thing, but I'm gonna put a little bit of water, not a lot. I just put a little bit of water, not a lot. What's a little bit of water? Maybe two tablespoons, okay? If, if for those of you out there that like to have measurements, maybe two tablespoons. This is a thick consistency. So a little bit of information. Rosso clay is Rosso clay. You can decide you want to make this liquidy, like I think B Natural, her name is, because she helped me with this too. She makes it liquidy, like a shampoo. She like puts it into a thing and it's like her shampoo when she does her hair. If you're that type of person that just doesn't have a lot of time for what I'm doing, but you want to make this into a liquidy, just add more water, add more apple cider vinegar, and it's more liquidy, and you just kind of quickly do it in there, take a shower, you know. So remember, you can do this at whatever level you need to. Just say to yourself, see those of us, I hear a lot of people asking me questions about measurements and specifics, and that's wonderful, but just look at it this way. It's better than if you had done it, not done it at all, right? Just think about it. So whether you did it 30 minutes, 10 minutes, an hour, uh, there was a time when you didn't do it at all, right? So just do it where you can do it and let the measurements be what you can do, and then you can build from there. When you have the opportunity to do it longer or do more, then do more right I like thicker but not this thick so I'm gonna add I like what this does and I like the way it's, I don't know why I just love apple cider vinegar it's it's um all of the things we're using are promote hair growth apple cider vinegar promotes hair growth uh, baking soda promotes hair growth okay so you can go look that up if you need to it's starting to get a little better the clay I like it a little softer I'm gonna add a little water now of course, everything stays warm. If you have low porosity hair, everything stays warm until your last step because you want to keep those cuticles up. My hair is starting to get cold, 
So I have to hurry up here. But you see, now it's starting to get like a nice thick, like kind of like a cake batter. I think I like that consistency. I like that consistency. And what you could do is you, if you can plan better and you can just have it sitting here waiting and let it kind of marinate for a minute, you know? But here is my Russell Clay Mix. And yes, I got the recipe from Curly Proverbs originally. She's the one that adds the rose powder and um, the aloe vera. But um, others have used this as well. And one more piece of information while this is marinating. You want you, a lot of you are like, oh, I love your curls. Now, I always have my curls, yes. But remember I talked about my kitchen and I talked about other parts? This Russell Clay, or any clay, uh, will make your curls pop. This is, you, a lot of us rely on the uh, gels at the end, but the real secret is the clay first in your wash routine. So you do the clay to really define your, your hair. Not only that, but it's cleansing it, it's clarifying it, and it's defining your curls, and you know what, it's hydrating it. So if you did this for a week straight, there's the maximum hydration method, where you do the Russell clay or bentonine clay, calcium or sodium, whichever one you decide, for a week, I think it's five days, I'm not sure, but I think it's five days. And if you continue to do it, you will apparently reach maximum hydration, whatever that means. And what that really means is that your curl is going to be defined from the roots to the tip, which as you can see, I'm basically there for the most part because I'm always hydrating my hair. But I do the good old fashioned water. I soak my hair in water, which I'll show you that next time. So now it's been sitting a little bit, right? I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my hair. But since I've been talking to you, this got a little cool, so I'm gonna just warm it again to lift my cuticles, put this in my hair, and this will be the clarifying step of my routine. I'll probably stop the tape, and then I'll begin again when it's time to do the next step. Okay, all right, here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and do it here. I'll put some hot water in my hair. Now, people say warm water, and you know me, I'm honest with you guys, I don't use warm, I use hot water on my hair. So I know many people go, like, oh, you shouldn't use hot water. Well, I use hot water. I like hot water in my skin. I like hot water in general. I'm just, that's my personality. And so far, so good. And unless you can tell me otherwise as to your reasons, that's what I've been using. So once again, no rings and I'm gonna to begin to apply the, um, um, the Rossel clay. So now I'm gonna to have to get on my knees here so you can see how I do this. Now remember, I always part my hair a certain way. I have my bangs here, right? I do everything the same so my fit hair is used to it. It is so bright in here that I could barely see what's going on. Okay, there you go. So I got this part, I got this section here that I like to do it that way. I have this section here, and then I have this. Now, just for the sake of you, I went to Sally's and I got myself some clips just for fun. I don't really use clips a whole lot, but sometimes I do. So go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and use them today because it's going to help me keep up with what I'm doing. I decided to use the clips that don't have teeth because it, it pulls your hair when you use those clips with teeth. So I'm not using clips with teeth. I'm gonna use clips that just like, you know, hold and that's it. There. You know what else I'm gonna do? I feel some kind of breeze. I don't know if it's my air condition, but I feel a breeze right now. Don't know why, it must be where I'm standing. So guess what I'm gonna do? I need that warmth to stay in my head because it's gonna get cold again and everything's going to lift. So I'm gonna cover it while I just do each section the best way I can. I don't always do this, but for right now, that's what I feel, I feel a lot of stuff. So look, it's fluffing up. Look at that, it got fluffier. Cause it's been sitting there. Now it's perfect. I'm gonna to begin to apply. Now, some of you may wanna apply with this. I don't, I use my hands. 
This guy, ladies and gentlemen, is a very important part of African hair, our hair. If you want your hair to become hydrated, manageable, as messy as this is, as maybe uncomfortable as it might feel, this is a very important step to our journey of defined curls. Some people use the word clumping, I believe. It's feel, I've chosen Russell Clay over Bentonine because I think Russell Clay is smoother, softer. Oh yeah, and because Curly Proverbs is using it. But, <laughs> and I love her, and I love her hair. And, but the other thing is, is that I trust her. I trust what she's doing for her hair. She's very delicate with it. Look at that. The, so Clay's, y'all, is the answer. If you looked at any of my other videos, Clay's are the answer to our black hair. Okay? Okay, so Shebe is a new product on the market that people are really trying to develop. I think it's finally available. Do you know that looks like a clay to me? It looks like the it looks like clay and the Ayurvedic system mixed together. And that's what I'm doing here. So this is part of the maximum hydration method where you put clays in your hair. Please get into this, y'all. If you're not allergic to it, get some clays in your hair because the, you, if you're relying on your gel to do all of the um, work for making your curls pop, that, that's not gonna be enough. You need to have this a part of your regimen, very important part of your regimen, and then it pops, you know? So if you've loved my curls, well, those are my curls, but what's happening is this clay has hydrated my hair so much that it has given my curl the ability to pop. So there you go. That's one piece. I'm gonna look at it more closely in the mirror to make sure I like it, because I like to really cover it. You can get this on your scalp. With the shed bay, you can't. So this is what I'm doing. I'm trying to just get it in there better because I can't see with the camera. Okay, see that? It's all in there. And I'm gonna just make sure it's in there. I love this stuff. It feels wonderful. It even has a slip. You know, look at that. It has a slip. Love it. This is the stuff. This is the stuff, y'all. Okay, this is the stuff. All right, so I'm gonna close it, put this up. Let me get this difficult part because this is what's made this, I called this my kitchen last time. So I'm gonna give it some attention because it's the one that needs to be very con conditioned, right? So wait, let me go ahead and clip this up so it's not in the way. And get this part here. This is what it looks like. It's like cake, cake batter. Get into your clays. If you have African hair, hair of African descent, clays are the thing. This is how we, uh, this is our secret, secret sauce. The secret sauce is our clays, our oils and our clays, okay? The gels won't do much if you haven't had a routine that hydrated your hair well and defined your hair, right? So this is our secret sauce here, the clay. All right, as messy as it is, it's worth it, girls. And guys, if there's some guys out there. Yeah. Anyway, while I'm doing this, guess what I decided? I decided I'm gonna do like a one day or a three day cleanse. Yeah, I just feel like it. I feel like I've been having too much fun this summer. So I'm like, you know, trying to do my things. I'm like, wait a minute now. So. <laughs> So I think I'm gonna do a cleanse of some sort, just like drinking some shakes instead of eating so much. So here you go. This is some clumping going on, which is some words that are used in the, commu the, the uh, community, natural hair community, as you can see. Here you go. Uh -huh. So I'm just kind of getting it all in in every, every piece here. All right. If I can do this fast, you know, I will. Meaning, uh, what do you call it? Okay, so I decided I was gonna do the back of my hair um, before the sides from now on because I was neglecting, remember? So, 
I can't iterate enough for you not to wear your ring. Don't wear your ring because this goes, this really will affect metal. Okay, and that's why I have that. That's why I've been using this cake thing for to. Um... So you're not supposed to try and um, you're not supposed to try. See, you can see. And uh, what is the word? I'm trying to get it in my hair, but you're not supposed to detangle with clay in your hair. But this is, has so much slip, this clay, and it's so moisturizing that you can't help yourself almost because it conditions, especially with that aloe vera in it. Definitely check out Kelly Provis. She talks about it too. It, it conditions, it clarifies, it hydrates. This is the secret to our hair, y'all. And our oils. This is the secret to our hair. So you know, y'all gotta get on the on it now with this. This is the secret to our hair. Once this stays in, now the longer you keep it in, the better. You know. I can keep this in for 15 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour, two hours, depending on how much I want it to affect. But this step is a big step. Now I know I have more than I need, but that doesn't hurt. If I had a little daughter, my daughter is mature as a woman now, but then I would put some on her hair if I had extra. You know, my son won't let me put it on his. <laughs> okay. You can get it on your face. You can put it on your face. If you have extra, that's another thing you can do because these clays are good for your skin. And you saw how all that oil was all over my hands and everything. Well, this stuff is good for your skin. So it's okay if things get all over your hands and stuff. Because it made my hands so soft. My hair growth oil made my hands so soft. So this is all, remember, natural products. So, you know, you almost can eat most of this stuff. I'm almost there. Getting a message from somebody, from one of y'all. I should I should have turned my phone off. <laughs> anyway, it'd be nice if this was live. Periscope or something. Well, there we go. Look at that. So I got my stuff in. I got some extra. I don't want to put it on my face. I use something else on my skin. Sometimes I'll put some, some of my stuff on my face, but I don't feel like it today. So I'm just going to put some extra all over There we go. Let me just get it all out and get it all over. There's no more, basically. It's all over. Let me see in this mirror if you can see better here. Okay. And I just put my cap on. Now, for anything that we do, there are three levels. You could do a 15 minute, 10 to 15 minute level. For those of us who are very busy but just wanna do this, remember it's better than not doing it at all. You can do 30 minutes to 45 minutes, or you can do an hour to two hours. Let's call them three levels, level one, level two, level three. I think I might do the level two, and because of that, I'm going to turn off the camera, and I'm gonna come back afterwards, and I'll let you see where I'm at with that. I can use the same, uh, um, plastic bag, cap, but I think I want a new one because I bought a big thing of caps from Sally's. And so now I'm going to keep it in for about 30 minutes, okay? If I do it longer or if I change my mind anyway, when I get back on, I'll let you know, okay? Love you guys, see you in a bit.